really sucks when you have lots to mux, but you don't want to do it in Open Broadcaster. You want an easier way. Well, that's why I'm here, to show you how to send to. What does that mean? Oh, who keys has hardware now? It's got rabbit ear racing chairs? What on earth? Who keys is where I've been getting my Windows keys. This is Windows 10 Pro, the OEM CD key. And one of the things I like about this is you're gonna be paying something that's more uh, close to the price of what you would pay uh, if you were a big company like, I don't know, Dell or somebody, and you were buying these in bulk. You're buying the serial numbers in bulk. It's the same product, but when you're doing OEM stuff, they give you a different price. And I don't like that. I'd much rather uh, pay the exact price that all the corporations pay to get it for my own computer. So this is why I recommend going here to get this. We have the home version of Windows. You could get Pro, but I'll show you how to get Pro. I'd recommend that one. And then we also have Office 2019 Professional. And I'll show you the prices on all these. And then we've got Windows 10 Pro Plus Professional that you can get into a bun in like a bundle together. I also want to note that this will upgrade to Windows 11 for free if you're going to do that early. And when you get over to this page, just do the activation code TS30 right now. It'll be TS25. There we go, 1372. At Office, TS30, $42. And I want to note that the 30% off is going to be for the first half of December. The second half of December, you still get 25% off. So use coupon code TS30 right now. If it's later in the month or if it's way later, use coupon code TS25. Once you're finished, if you want to access your key, you click on your name on the top right, click on User Center, and you'll see My Purchase Orders. Right here, you'll be able to view the keys that you've purchased just by clicking on View Keys and Codes. Then you will see your code right here. Just go ahead and copy this code, press start, type activate, and you'll see activation settings come up. Click on that, then click change product key. Right there you can paste in your code and hit next, and then you will be activated. It's very simple. So go ahead and get Windows and Office activated and do it at the same price as the wholesalers do it. So what we're going to do in this video is make your life a lot better, especially if you're someone who is constantly remuxing Lots of files. Uh, you're not going to have to open up your copy of this. Go to File and then go to Remux Recordings because you can go here and you can, you know, click on a few of them. But let's say you just, you know, want a faster way to do this without having to go inside of OBS and do this. So there's only a couple of steps here. You need a copy of FFmpeg. You need a folder to put that in. And then we're going to write a, um, a little bat file to run. And I'll show you how this works. So go to ffmpeg.org, click on download. We can download, uh, we don't want the source code. We want the Windows version right here. Click on either one of these, just grab the Windows version. I'm actually just gonna open this because I'm gonna drag and drop it right out of there. All right, that's, that's what we need, okay. So yeah, ffmpeg essentials works just fine. There it is. So these files here, I need to make a spot for them. So on my D drive, in my goods folder. You can put it anywhere you like. I'm just gonna make a new folder by pressing Control uh, Shift N, and I'm gonna call this FFmpeg. Drag and drop this stuff into there. All right, now we need to create a bat file and tell it to be a remuxer. So let's just quickly, um, I'm using Notepad++. You can use Notepad if you like, but I highly recommend downloading Notepad++. All right, and this is the code that you need to tell your computer or tell your bat file to navigate to this folder here and um, remux. So what it's doing here is it's saying if there's a file and it's you know, the ones you select, you use ffmpeg in this folder and then we're going to um, basically copy the file. That's the file right there. And then uh, put an mp4 at the end. So it's, it's changing it from an mkv to an MP, M, mp4. So in your .bat file here, you need to uh, navigate, make sure you're navigating to the directory right there. So there it is, D, goods, FFmpeg, bin. And you type the name of the exe file, which is ffmpeg.exe right there. So just ffmpeg, you don't need to put the .exe. Save that as I'm just going to call it remuxer.bat. I'll just put it here in the ffmpeg folder. It doesn't really matter. Save. There we go. That's, that's what I've just created. Now, how do we add this to the send to uh, menu? Well, in order to get to the Send To menu, we just press the Windows key and R for Run. It brings up this dialog here. And we want to do Shell hyphen Send To. Send uh, S and T are capital. This is our Send To menu. I'm going to delete Remuxer from there. So now, in order to get this in there, there's our Remuxer.bat right there. Right click, drag, and copy, and it'll allow me to create a shortcut here. 
I'm just going to retitle the shortcut and get rid of the word shortcut. There we go. So I put a shortcut to our bat file inside the sin2 folder. Now let's go find those mkv files and remux them. Alright, so now let's see if it works. I'm going to click on four of these. Right click, scroll down to the sin2 menu. There's remuxer.bat. Click on remuxer.bat and look, it is now converting these. They're showing up on top because I'm sorting that way. There we go. And now these are all mp4s. There it is. There's me doing stuff. So that was easy. That's just a really quick way to remux things on your computer with the Sin2 menu. There's so many cool things you can do with the Sin2 menu once you realize that you can, you know, add things to that menu list. You can add other programs to it. You can add exe files to it. You can add other shortcuts to it. And what that'll do is it'll allow you to take anything from a context menu, right click on it, go down to Sin2 and send it to another thing. Send it to something to compress, like a zipped file. Send it to whatever. Send it to your you know, printer, whatever. It's it's a really handy thing. If you want to get nerdier with MKVs, there's a program called MKV Toolkit. It's beyond the scope of this quick little video, but that'll allow you to take a movie or something like, if, let's say you have Ghost in the Shell and you want to make sure that the Japanese subtitles are the main subtitles and not the American subtitles. You can go in and rearrange the order, make one track the default, make another track, you know, not default or delete tracks. You can add extra audio or something if you wanted to have like you know rearrange the order of audio make sure the japanese audio is the first audio not the american audio or the english audio you can also go online if you don't have subtitles for your file that's an mkv and find some subtitles that match up with it and then you can remux it using the mkv toolkit so that those subtitles that you've downloaded separately from the internet will be you know basically Com uh, compiled or um, muxed with your MKV. So that's something, like I said, that's beyond, but you know, MKV Toolkit will get you started on that. Anyway, if a little video like this is helpful, if this is something that you'd like to see more of, these little tools and tricks and stuff that I do, let me know. All right, see you in the comments. Be sure to head over to epicpants.com and thanks to our sponsor. Hope you get your Windows keys and all that stuff. Bye, everybody.